Yo guys, it's sorry you already know that today we are playing some more at Danganronpa. On the last episode, we um did a lot of investigating. Uh, we went to the second floor of the uh, dorms. We found Kyoko's dad dead in a box, uh, wrapped up in a nice present. And we got a handbook that can get into all of the locked handbook stuff in the school. And we used that to open up some lockers that we thought were previous students, but uh, it looks like it might have been our lockers. We found some stuff from Hiro, and we found a thing from Kyoko. Um, and we couldn't really find anything from any of the other ones, but uh, yeah. As we were going to go check out the biolab, uh, Monokuma so rudely invited us to the gym to give us a hint. But I don't know what kind of hint we need, but uh, yeah, we bumped into Hiro and he was acting kind of weird. So we're going to go see what he was told to make him act so weird. Let's go talk to Monokuma. And then see if we can go to the biolab or if it's just going to be like, you know, trial start. I keep thinking the trial is like going to start any minute now, but uh, maybe there's just a lot more that I'm not knowing about. Or that I'm not remembering, or whatever. Who knows? Like I said, the the chain of events for me is a little it's a little fuzzy. But um, again, I feel like I remember most of the big stuff that's going to happen. I don't know. Uh, hello, welcome, welcome, hello. Are you ready for your final hint? Well, it just so happens to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. Uh, the envelope. Were there a bunch of envelopes, or was? Did, did you prepare one specifically for me because you knew I'd be next, or what? I, hmm. This must be the envelope. Well, let's read it. Ooh. And just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. W what? Yeah. Don't worry, just get on with it. Uh, okay, it's a hint, right? Uh, Monokuma's scripted words didn't make me feel any better, but I picked up the envelope. Uh, and open it. Uh, what I found was a single photograph. Oh ho! Oh, ho, ho. it featured a bunch of faces I recognize extremely well. Yeah, uh, everybody uh, in in the school. Look at that. Um, what? Hmm. Why does uh, Hifumi feel like he needs to hold a camera for the picture? Everybody else is just kind of posing and smiling. Uh, <laughs> but Hifumi's like, let me take a picture of them taking a picture of me. Um, but all right, yeah, everybody's together. It was everyone who'd uh, come to Hope Speak at the same time as me. Wait, but... There's someone behind Sayaka. I wonder who it could be. She's the only one I don't recognize. I mean, we've seen a picture of her. It's it's definitely Mukuro. Wait, that's not true. I do recognize her. That's right. When Byaki and I were in the headmaster's room, when I looked at that file. Yeah. Mukuro Ikusaba. Uh, then this girl is... I mean, yeah. What? Why? Why is Mukuro here uh, with everyone else? And even more than that... Uh, just having everyone here pose like this is weird enough by itself. Yeah, <laughs> we have a, there's a lot of questions. And we're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like this. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. Wait, what? Who's missing? I'm not in the picture. Oh! Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wait, I am the only one missing. Why? I'm the only one not there. The picture has all 15 other students, but not me. But I guess that makes sense. No. No, it doesn't. What do you mean? After all, I don't remember ever taking a picture like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. I went to junior high with Sayaka, but the first time I met everyone else was when I arrived uh, here at Hope Speak Academy. So it's natural for me not to be in this picture, but it's definitely natural. Well, for all in the same class, like, we didn't just, like, transfer in later, right? Uh, is that everyone else is in the picture? I thought everyone was like me and didn't know each other till I got here. But if this picture is real, um, mm, is I mean it? It kind of looks like it was taken inside of Hope's Peak. Is that not you know the case or no? Then could that mean? Could it be everyone else and just me? Everyone is the mastermind, and Makoto's the only one that is just not in on it. Everyone here except me is. Everything is a is a is a scam. This entire reality TV thing was all a big joke. To only Makoto. Mm -hmm. How long are you gonna keep up this rambling solo look we have yours, Hamlet? You're kinda getting in the way standing there, you know? So, I mean, get out. But, I told you I'm not feeling any questions. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? I'd be totally out of left field. Uh, he's, he's, he's going insane again. I guess I mean he's done talking. Damn it. Uh, group photo. And the truth bullets. Alright, cool stuff. And now. Uh, so in the end, all I found in the gym 
with even more confusion. And with that confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. Are we going to run into anybody else on our way out? Mm, no. Okay, I was like, music, please? But now, now we got scary music. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? Did he put together a fake photo just to confuse me? I don't think so. This is the third photo we've seen? That has included uh, students that shouldn't be together together? Or shouldn't have like known each other? Y you know what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, but it looks so real. So full of life. How could anyone fake that? True. Which would mean everyone but me. Maybe I should just ask everyone directly. That should clear all this up. No, I have to clear all this up. Oh, is that why Hero was suspicious of me? Because I'm, like, not in the picture? I, I, I need to know. Uh, I'm so fixated. I, I have a feeling that nothing's going to be there. But I need to know if I can go to the bio lab. Let's go. Let's go back in. The game said something about going back to the bio lab, and now I have to. Yes, I decided to visit the bio lab one more time. Let's go. And the first thing I saw when I got there... Uh, was her passed out again? What? Huh? Toko? Uh, um, four, five, six, seven. What? Wait a minute. Oh, eight. I don't know how to count. That's still nine, but this one's open? Um, it's open. Oh, but Toko. Uh, Toko? Uh, Toko, are you okay? No, no. She's not dead, is she? <laughs> ah! It's cold. It's super cold. It's so cold. I think I might catch cold. Uh, if you keep taking naps in places like this, I'm sure you will. I don't think she took a nap. I'm assuming either the dead body. It might not just be blood. It could just be a dead body. Or, yeah, like seeing a body made Toko pass out. No. What? I was asleep? Oh, I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there staring at me getting all excited, weren't you? No, I, I wasn't. I just walked in. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered, straight up horny. Um, okay, so why did you pass out? I would say this is not the place to do that even if I was, but I feel like Genocide Jill m and would maybe disagree. I don't know. Um, I don't know, last thing I remember uh, was me waking up just now. Uh, what did what did you do, Miss Moros? Uh, I know Moros is a word, I don't actually know what it means, but I assume it's describing Toko. Uh, uh, that's right, your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Bingo, Bazinga, we share some... Uh, basic knowledge, but our memories are very much separate. And don't you say that like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't want to share a brain with, uh, with Toko. Even if she forgets something, I totally remember. So it's like double the memory. Uh, no, it's more like half. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I guess it would be like half. I don't know. It depends on how good each of their memories are. Strength of memory is probably better than quantity of them. But all I want to know right now is, where's my little darling? Tell me now, or I slit your throat. I don't know, he's in the school. I'm sure Byaki's around somewhere doing his own investigating. Uh, By himself? I assume so. Oh, I knew it. I totally know it. I'm a total pro when it comes to all things master. Anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't uh, even imagine how lonely he must be right now. Why is... I feel like I missed the boat. Uh, I probably remember when it happened, but like... What made her, what made Genocide Jill, like, completely obsessed with Byaki as well? Because, like, I know Toku, like, has been for a while, because I think she just likes being treated like garbage. But, like, what's, what's Genocide Jill's deal? I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Uh, alright. Toku shut off, her eerie laughter echoing behind her. Uh, I totally forgot to ask her about the picture. Well, there's no point in asking Genocide Jack anyway. Yeah, I don't think Genocide Jack was in the picture. Uh, besides, I have more important things to do right now. Uh, why did Toku faint? There's gotta be some reason for it. Man, if only there was some reason for why that would happen. Uh, the fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all uh, shut tight last time I was here. That must be why she passed out. Oh, Kyogo. She thinks so easily. Were you standing there? Or did you come in behind? I kind of want this answered immediately. Kyogo? It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm sorry if I made you worry. All right, I, she had to have just walked in. There's no way she got here and was just standing in here while uh after like from from where she was she was like like the farthest part away from the school as you could possibly be and i'm the only one with teleportation powers no you don't have to apologize but listen about this room oh yeah it's it's a morgue yeah i suspected as much i took must have looked inside the fridge see what was in there and well there you have it you knew she'd fainted 
I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I assume she must have sneezed, but once I got inside, the real reason came clear. I bet she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, that's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. And I don't know why I was still uh, talking like Kyoko, whatever. Why does everything gotta be so difficult with her? Anyway, we should close it up. Don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Yeah, good idea. But what if we, like, looked at the body? Give me a hand with this. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched, but suddenly she stopped. Yeah, I was like... I, for Kyoko to not examine, like, what the body actually is or looks like, uh, seems like a very un-Kyoko thing, uh, to do. Uh, what's wrong? Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body is in here. What? Mukuro's corpse? Muku uh, Mukuro's body is inside the fridge? Just like, uh, every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it. Because I assume we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again, I guess. Okay. Okay. You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Oh, that's right. Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. So, alright. At some point, before unlocking all the things to the school, the body must have been moved from the garden into the morgue here. But one of them is Mukuro's body, which means that there is a person missing, right? Um, I need to do my own examination uh, of the corpse as soon as possible. I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Okay, so what should I do? Yeah. Why don't you just wait over there? Yeah, wait here until I give you the information you need. I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Just wait over there, that's it? Yeah? Like, what else would we do? Um, I don't know, should we look at anything else, or should we just talk to Kyoko again? Let's run, yeah. And there's nothing there. Seen the blue lights come on when a slot is occupied. So when someone's uh, in there, the blue light comes on. Looking around, the number of lights that are on, including Mukuro's, there's nine in all. Nine. Nine lights? Uh-huh. Alright. We're definitely missing one. Uh... We, there's nothing to, like, look at again, is there? You know, I think I've seen trouble like this somewhere before. Yeah, in there. It's the same one as I found in the garden tool shed, and if I remember that tarp. Uh, it had a stamp that said Biolab. And what, these ones probably have that as well? And that that's the truck that was used to help camouflage the murder in the garden. At some point, someone grabbed, uh, got it from the biolab and took it over there. Cool. Probably has been updated, sure. Let's just look at everything again. Already looked through this instruction manual, more importantly. Uh, I don't know, should we just talk to Kyoko? I should ask Kyoko about that group photo. Oh, right, okay. After all, she's in it too. Uh... Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I want to talk to you about something. What is it? It's about that announcement Monokuma made earlier. You mean the one about a hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Huh, why not? The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to go out our judgment. Ooh, fair enough. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever hints he may have to offer. That's a good point. I wish I could go back and do the same thing. But what's done is done, I guess. <laughs> Standing here looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Um, She also, like, very clearly... Like, if there's any one of the students um, that already have this excuse built in, she's already gone down, like, the she had amnesia route, and we have been believing her this whole time, so there's no reason to think that she just all of a sudden remembers everything? I don't know. Uh, is she right? Did the mastermind force that picture as a trap to confuse us? That's gotta be it. There's no other explanation. Uh, okay, Makoto, uh, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Anyone can do good work if they go uh, slow. Uh, in that spirit, I'll make my report brief. Alright, what's your report? So, did you find anything? I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood, and it seems highly likely that the stomach wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death. What? Really? So the bundle of arrows with blood on it didn't even cause the death? The burnt tissue uh, made things a little difficult, but I'm completely confident in my findings. So that means neither of those were the fatal injury, right? Then what was the fatal injury? Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about six of metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So the other wounds are what killed the body? The only other option is those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Where does it say they were old? Huh? It says they were several days... Wait, didn't it? Several days ago. Okay, all the Monokuma file says is that they were inflicted at least several days ago. 
I guess I don't see the difference. Well, the difference is uh, immense considering the impression they give. You seem to be equating several days old with simply old. But that doesn't uh, quite follow logically. Old wounds, it makes it sound like they're, they've are they been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way she could have had... Uh, they could have any anything to do with it. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? Oh, no. Certainly you can allow it as one of the many possibilities, can you? One of many? A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's no way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. They envision these possibilities without prejudice, without bias, using only their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test uh, what they find against each of these possibilities. Of course, me telling uh, you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. Beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep that in mind for the future. For the future? But there aren't any more class trials after this! Um, alright. So we got that. Uh, so, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. Uh, come to think about it, of it, there was one thing earlier when I was looking at Mukuro's profile. It listed her height and weight. 5 foot 7 inches, 97 pounds. Vitals were 31, 22, 32. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? It's crazy. They are indeed consistent with the corpse. Oh, so it was Mukuro's body. Okay, so then. And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Oh my gosh, duh. That's not something that would have been faked. Our victim in this case, uh, in this case is, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusaba. Alright, so the victim is definitely Mukuro Ikusaba. The killer is definitely, like, the mastermind. And we just really need to figure out who the mastermind is, I guess. Is that all you wanted to ask? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Then it looks like we have no further business with Mukuro's body. Let's keep going, it's kind of chilly in here. Oh wait, are we not going to put the body back? Do you think it's kind of sad living out like this? Nothing. Sad. Did you forget she was our enemy once? Part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Ah, uh, I don't know. That's kind of gray area. I don't know. No. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. <sighs> you really are naive. You know that? It's really quite appalling. Uh, but she could have abandoned me, but she decided to help me instead. So for someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? Okay, uh, I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes? Ah, hold on. I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. Uh, oh, right, okay. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in that locker. Uh, if I don't do it now, I might not get a chance to do it again. Hey, Kyoko. Uh, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. Go ahead, then. Out with it. Have you really not seen your dad even once since you got here? What? What do you mean? Well, uh, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? I do, yes. Uh, but to get any info of these lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Actually, I managed to get them open using that emergency handbook. The one you found in the headmaster's hidden room. Yeah, where if you were thinking with your head, you probably would have gotten that and, and done the same thing. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? Uh, I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it must be your pocketbook. What makes you say that? Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to get into it, right? I can't imagine those lockers belong to any of us. Wait, what if we take you to the second floor and you open it with your handbook? Will you believe me then? After all, we uh, only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. Hmm, and if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it in a locker? Uh, everything you just said makes perfect sense, but there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. Could that mean that video is real too then? Uh, video? Makoto, I think everything is finally starting to fit together uh, to reveal a cohesive picture. Although I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. Well, what are you talking about? I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need to confirm what you said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. That way you can... That won't be necessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Your locker? Yeah, I mean, Makoto, you're not surprised about this. We already figured this out, basically. If you watch this, it'll all make sense. A DVD? Oh! Her DVD from the beginning? Oh, wait, no. Urgent interviews. And it says class of the urgent interviews. Where did you get this from? I found it in the hidden room after you left. Oh, that's convenient. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so just watch it uh, and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes sense right now, but I guess that means there's some important clue on this DVD. 
Okay. Nice. Oh, and now it's my turn. Do you have a second to listen to me ramble? Uh, ramble? So as it turns out, the arrangements I'd made didn't stick. Uh, what I mean is I'm less and less sure of everything, even my own feelings. You're talking about your dad, right? I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask for the rest of my life. And all because of the mastermind. But there's one thing I am sure of. When it comes to the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I swore to destroy the mastermind. This is just one more reason to follow through on that. Kyoko's eyes burned with the fire of determination. The determination to defeat the mastermind. It's strange to be confronted with his death and suddenly feel this way. I couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. So why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know uh, how he suffered? Uh, it's ridiculous. There's just no understanding it, I guess. Um, I don't know. Even if you don't like him, what's he? Uh, I don't know. I feel like there's like a limit to even someone that you don't like, like how how much uh, suffering they sh should or shouldn't take. I don't know. Uh, she let out a small laugh as she said it. Said uh, it. But her smile was filled with sorrow. So I'm gonna sit for my rambling. There's so much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, you're right. But keep this in mind. There's only uh, ever one absolute truth. Whether that truth serves justice or suffering, whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. Uh, what do you mean? Even if the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness, you still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because... Because all I can do is keep moving forward. That's pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry if that was strange. Yeah. Anyway, I need to get going. I'll see you at the class trial. Alright, leave me behind that final photo. Well, uh, Kyoko's gone. I better go on myself. I got that DVD from Kyoko. I should head to the AV room to check it out. Uh, Kyoko said something about hopeless truth. But no matter what happens, I won't lose hope. Even if it's the worst truth in the world, I can't afford to lose. What would be the worst truth in the world that we could figure out right now? I wonder. Um, Alright, let's just go straight to the AV room. Because it's on the first floor. Uh, I think it's... No. Host Peak first floor, right? I think it's somewhere over here. Uh, Nurse... Wait, is it in the other section? Store... AV room. Yes, let's go. I mean, the store's right there. I could use all my nice coins, but I, I feel like I'm not going to bother at this point. I imagine, like, you can get gifts and then, I don't know, maybe there's, like, a new game plus or something to, to keep getting more, to have them roll over, but... Eh. I'm not doing that, so I feel like nice coins, as as nice as they are, I, I feel like they've kind of lost their value. They should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well, then, I better take a look. Let's find out the ultimate awful truth or whatever. Uh, took the DVD, Kyoko, uh, give me, put it in the player. Uh, it said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the black of the monitor. Must have been only a few seconds, but to me it felt like an eternity. And then, all of a sudden, an image appeared. Ooh. Ooh. S Sayaka? Yeah, play the cool music. It took me by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long, and there she was. Uh, okay then, are you ready to begin? Uh, the voice I heard uh, was of the man positioned on one side of the screen. Uh, it was the voice of a middle-aged man. Maybe the headmaster? Yeah, look at the shelf behind. Is that in the headmaster's, uh, room? I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of, uh, taking notes while having a conversation. Uh, it sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Sayaka's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So, uh, this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys, it's more like insurance, so please don't worry too much. Uh, now then, let me get straight to the point. There's a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? You, you want me to- you want me to accept that? I don't remember what Sayaka sounded like. <laughs> Sayaka was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Uh, who would agree to spending the rest of your life, uh, in the school? I accept. Well, what? Thank you, and I'm sorry about all this. Well, I, uh, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As headmaster of Hosting Academy, I give you my word. It is headmaster. Look at that. Uh, as if on cue, that's where the video cut out. Um, there was a lot I hadn't understood up till now, but this, only this, I simply couldn't comprehend what I'd heard. Because I know how much Sayaka wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. Yeah, it's true. She wanted that so bad, she tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat there thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the video that I thought uh, was finished flashed back on the screen. My eyes started back to the screen. And if I was confused before, what I saw next pushed me right over the edge. And... oh yeah! Huh? What I saw was... me! 
and possibly undeniably me. So Makoto, uh, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording a conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other. He and I were having uh, what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less sitting down and talk to him like this. Now, shall we get straight to the point? Uh, Makoto, there's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said yes? Sorry for putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise, as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As headmaster of Hope Speak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Mm-hmm. Once again, the video cut out. From there, the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Mmm. Biakia. Toko. But did Genocide Jack uh, agree to be in here? I don't know uh, if she did. Hina, everyone, they all said that they agreed to, to live in the school forever. And then... Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she had met him. She sat down with the headmaster of Host Peak Academy, her father. And when he asked her his question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. This was Kyoko's interview was wrapping up. Oh, the monitor suddenly went black. They didn't show Hiro as, like, <laughs> agreeing to stay here. They're, oh, man, they're really painting Hiro up as, as like, uh, the ultimate villain here. But I just don't think it makes sense. Huh? It wasn't just a monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which, of course, meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Is Mana Kume here, like, uh, sabotaging something? Or what the heck just happened? Yep. I knew it. Oopsie, it looks like it broke out of service. What? It's just so having to break now? What a weird coincidence. Now then, uh, when doesn't matter. Failure can strike anytime, uh, anywhere, anytime. That's what failure is, right? Uh-huh. Failure my ass. You cut the power on purpose. Well, whatever. We watched the, basically the entire video. Even though if I watched the whole thing, it'd uh, be more of the same. Uh, he asked them the question, and they'd all say yes. I couldn't help myself. Uh, I let out a huge, exasperated sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. Um, I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. Thinking back on it now, uh, at that point, my memory was gone. Yeah, so maybe all of our memories are gone, and uh, we, yeah, we all spent some time in the school, but now we forget all that. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget uh, all that? Yeah. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to uh, imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Yeah, someone erased our memories or whatever. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed to obviously work in favor of the mastermind. So does that mean I lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... Hmm... Oh, we can't show everybody this DVD. They just have to believe us. Oh, has the time come? Oh, boy. For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that must mean uh, it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black. There is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, uh, every end is a promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again, because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> it's about to begin again. Uh, the class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all of our lives will be on the line. The last time hoping to spare on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. Let's go! Alright, for the first time ever, we're looking at the red door and it's not playing scary music because there's no way this ends bad. This is going to end on a happy note. But we have done it. We have finished our investigation. We have assembled all of our truth bullets. We have all the information at our disposal. And it is time to crack this case open once and for all, which means that it's going to, uh, well, end this game once and for all. So, as I uh, was not wrong, we are actually incredibly, incredibly close to the end of this game. We only have one class trial. Which, I mean, I do assume it's going to be a, a, you know, a pretty lengthy one. But, uh, I hope you guys are ready for this final class trial. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna get to the end of this game. And I am super, super excited about that. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. I'm going to continue to kind of hold off my thoughts for now. Because it's a little rough because, be because I remember, like, the big twists at the end here. I can't really expand upon, like what I think or what I would have thought 
because when I first saw the anime, I was just so confused as to everything that was happening, uh, and that was also, like, five, six years ago, whenever that was, so I, you know, it's hard to put into context, like, all of my thoughts at the time. Um, so we're just gonna, like, all go through these twists and turns as they happen, and, uh, yeah, we're just gonna experience that, and I will leave it at that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I hope to see you next time for when we start the final class trial. Uh, until then, guys, take care. Peace out.